Well, just a couple of hours ago, the jury in a Spokane murder trial reached a verdict. The jury found Yazir Daraji guilty of second degree murder and harassment for killing his ex-wife back in 2020. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley was the only reporter in the courtroom this afternoon. She's joining us here from the newsroom with the latest on this case. Amanda? Well, the murder trial for Yasir Daraji lasted about three weeks, and the jury spent Thursday afternoon and this morning deliberating before they reached a verdict. An autopsy report confirmed Daraji's ex-wife was strangled to death, but then investigators also determined he later placed the victim's body in her car and set it on fire, and that car was located on Spokane's South Hill. Now, court documents say the couple divorced in 2015. The two also had a history of several domestic dispute incidents over the next several years. Now, Daraji has maintained his innocence, but prosecutors remain confident the evidence would prove otherwise, including the medical examiner's testimony that the victim's injuries are consistent with strangulation and that Daraji's DNA was found on the steering wheel cover and window lock of the victim's car. Then, with only about a day spent deliberating, the jury found Daraji guilty of murdering his ex-wife. We, the jury, find the defendant, Yasser Daraji, guilty of the crime of second-degree murder as charged in count one. And that's dated with today's date and signed by the presiding juror. Verdict form for count two reads as follows. We, the jury, find the defendant, Yasser Daraji, guilty of the crime of harassment as charged in count two. Now, you can see in that video, Daraji really didn't react to the verdict. In fact, he remained emotionless the entire time he was in court today. I also noticed the courtroom was empty this afternoon with no sign of any family or friends. Now, Daraji's defense attorney, Rob Cossey, told me he does not know if Daraji wants to appeal his case, but his sentencing is tentatively scheduled for December 8th at 1.30 p.m. In the newsroom tonight, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.